Hello guys, Ruby Q Crafts here again with another video. This is from a company called FGOBY, F-G-O-B-Y, and they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to pick something out and show you guys what they have. So, of course, I was like, mm, yeah, so here I'm going to be giving you an honest review of this company. Um, and I got three diamond paintings, and I believe one of them is a partial, so let's put these to the side. And the reason that I do these is because, you know, not everybody can afford Diamond Art Club or Treasure Studios Art or Craftably. And these are very budget friendly. So I want to be showing you guys stuff like this too, you know, because I would buy this stuff. You know, if it's cheap, why not, right? Um, so the first thing we have is this. Actually, this is not a... This, I thought this was a partial, but apparently it's kind of not a partial and it's kind of in between. So we have this B, and as you can see, it is like a word cross. <laughs> These are all special drills. Um, we have this cheap little tray set up here. Um, let's see, let's take a look at these drills real quick. So this is very interesting, the way that this looks. It looks very scattered. Okay, so, here we have these silver drills, gold, pink, purple. We have some black. And then we have these like special shaped little teardrop drills that are kind of like, uh, I'm gonna say topaz. <laughs> the first thing I think about is like my birthday month freaking color, like an orange color. Then we have this yellow round special drill and then we have silver again. But these are like a little different than the silver that I showed you. And then we have pink, purple, and then we have again these teeny tiny little teardrop shaped drills. They're super small. I wonder where these go. These are probably going to, okay, so you see the in between the B, like 11 DMC or number 11, not DMC. That's where these are going to go. So this, this will probably be really time consuming, but if you're into that, then I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy working on something like this, if you buy this one, right? It is a 30 by 30 centimeter painting and it has 11 special drills. So there's that one. Next up, I believe this is a big diamond painting. We shall see in just a second. Okay. What is this one? What is it? Oh, okay. So this is a woman and you can see her hair flowing. Let me kind of zoom out real quick. Okay. So you can see her hair flowing. There's black, orange, yellow. There's some blue in there. This is a very simple diamond painting. Like I feel like it looks like there's a lot of colors, but there's only 23 colors. And I think it's going to work with this type of image, okay? It is a 60 by 40 centimeter diamond painting according to this right here. But I want to see if it really is. I want to see if it really is what it says it is. So let me take this out. Naomi got me this a while back when she came and visited me in Hawaii. So, that's inches, the centimeters, do that. Okay. This way, whoops, what the hell? <laughs> Maybe if I didn't put this underneath that, give us a better reading. Okay. So, this right here is going to be 52 centimeters. And then, so this is like the cross. And then from up here, from right here to here is going to be like 33. Okay. So it's not 40 by 60 at all. <laughs> but, <clears throat> you know, I guess it still looks very pretty. I think it's going to look really nice once it's finished. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about how they do this. Have you guys noticed a lot of times they'll put the image in their computer and then they'll leave some of the lines so that you can see them in between drills 
To be honest with you, I think that that's a good idea because it gives the image more of like, I guess more character. You can actually see that it's an image and not really a pixelated diamond painting, if that makes any sense. Oh, Bruh. God damn it. God damn it, Sensi, in your jeweled pomegranate body cream. Okay, so anyway, do you guys like this image? Let me know. I'm going to show you the drills now. As you can see, we have a lot of orange and yellows. Very fallish. Okay. I think that when I was looking through the images, I was like, oh, oh, what is this? It captured my eyes. I can never open this. What the hell? All right, two. All right, so the drills look pretty good. So here we have some brown, really pretty orange. This color right here is so pretty. It's a lot more darker in person. Brown, more brown, brown, yellow, orange, yellow. Then we have more orange and more yellow. And more orange. And then here we have three grays. Well, actually, this is more of like a, what would you call that? Um... I don't know what you would call that color, but it, it's kind of gray. Then we have these two grays, red, more grays. We have, I think this is, I think this is black. Then we have these like pink brown, and then we got this really pretty purple right here. Okay, next up we have this white color. We have three of them. Then we have orange, this really weird gray teal, this brick red and gray okay so i think that the colors go with the image let's see so i guess this is gonna be the white right there yeah i'm yep yep okay cool cool all right on to the next one and oh yeah forgot comes with these two trays and two wax and two pins with no multiplacers it is what it is it's okay <laughs> You know, my bougie ass needs a bougie toolkit, but it's fine. It's totally okay. Next diamond painting. <laughs> oh my gosh. I sounded like that one guy from The Hangover. The, what is he? He's like a pimp or something. Okay, so I don't know why the hell I just even mentioned that movie, but okay. All right, this one right here is very, very pretty. When I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh. And this is actually a square diamond painting. Yep, that's right, guys. I got a square because I was like, you know what? I've had the best of luck getting squares with these companies, okay? Not gonna lie. I don't know who their supplier is, but holy hot damn they they really do have really good squares i've never had a bad square um experience with these you know little shops from like yeah anyway y'all know what i'm saying uh this has 24 colors this is supposedly a 40 by 50 which of course we're gonna measure and look right here's kind of like they kind of put the tape off weird right here let me fix that the cool thing about these companies, too, is that they have poured glue, guys. Like, that's really nice because, you know, usually a lot of people think that, like, big stores like Diamond Art Club and, and all these other ones, Treasure Studios Art, Craftably, um, you know, I don't know, Mary Diamonds. You, they, people think that they're expensive because of the poured glue, but the reason they're expensive is because they're licensed, right? Um Poured glue isn't even that expensive, to be honest with you. So, let's check out the size. And yes, this is an owl. It's very pretty. I like it. Do you like it? I like it. All right, let's see. Is this true to size? Is it? So, we have 33. Okay, 33. And we have... This is a drill field, by the way uh like 43 okay so not quite 40 by 50 i think they're counting the whole canvas but i was talking about the drill field here all right so let's take a look at the drill field okay so with this one 
Um, I do feel like I am going to use a light pad because it is a little dark. Um, other than that, the letters or symbols are very legible. Yeah, and this kind of is funny because this kind of resembles a double-sided adhesive um, drill field. If you haven't, like, you know, there's like a difference. You can tell when it's a double-sided adhesive um, drill field and a pour glue drift, drill field. So, yeah, I mean, cool, whatever, dude. I'm just letting you guys know. <laughs> That's my, my opinion, what I think. is that I think they got a double-sided canvas, right? And they just did the pour glue over it. All right, so these are the colors for this one. Okay. So these squares, um, they look, they actually look pretty good to me. They don't have no tabbing or car crash drills or, yeah. Okay, so anyway, here we have some brown. Here is some ugly poop brown. We got some blues right here. Um, we have these, like, what is this, brown orange? I don't know what, I don't know what color that is. It's really ugly, but... I mean, you know, <laughs> purple, blue, we have that booger green, we got some like weird pink, purple, we have oops, this beautiful wine color and this red color. Next up, we have this yellow, this gray, this beautiful like bright red pink green brown and then we have this blue and then this color right here okay so i am gonna say something real quick sometimes the color palette isn't as nice as we wish it would be right um because these colors are not they don't look like they would look pretty together okay like these two colors no but you will not know exactly how this will look until you start working on it right so maybe these colors do go together maybe these colors you know because this is a lot of confetti i see so much confetti in this maybe it'll create this beautiful image never know you never know and then we have a basic bitch toolkit so let me know in the comments below if you would shop with this company now i'm going to tell you something real quick okay and i'm probably going to get a lot of shit for it but i don't care um they do have stolen images on in their website but it is not my job to tell them that they have stolen images on their website and to take them off because i did that last time was do it yourself um diamond something i forgot I, I have a package from them by the way um and it just it's none of my business you get what i'm saying like it doesn't matter how many times i tell a company that they have stolen images they're not going to listen so with that being said you might be thinking well why are you supporting them then well, it's not so, it's not like I'm supporting them. It's just that I know that I have subscribers that cannot afford a 50 or even $30 diamond painting. So, um, yeah, I know that you guys, some of you guys who watch my videos, okay, yes, I show a lot of these expensive companies and their license and all this, but I decided not to stop showing you guys these companies because like I said, they're cheap and they're nice. And all you have to do is go to Tin Eye, put the image in if you if you know if you don't want to be buying stolen images, which I agree you shouldn't. Sometimes you don't know though. So go to Tin Eye, put the image in, and then you'll see if it's a stolen image or not. If it's not, if it's a stock photo, then why not? Why not buy it, right? So anyway, um, I'm not gonna rant about this. <laughs> this is the video for today. I hope you guys like it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.